used or like mensch or would you you would you call another would you call another soldier mensch or would no mensch you used the, the, the term like mensch are you crazy mensch it has no meaning really okay yeah, not, uh, no. okay um so the weapons like um I got the K98 Mauser. Yeah. Uh, would you ever use one of these when you were in? Oh yeah. Okay. For, for uh, practice, uh, when I become a shot shooter. Did you? What would you call this? Would you just call it like a bear? Carabine. Uh, you just call it a car. You wouldn't call it a K98. No. Carabine. You wouldn't call it a K. My uh, carabiner. My carabiner. Okay. Yeah. Carabiner and, and um. And like a pistol, you just call it pistola. Yeah. Okay, so you would you would call it by other names like that. But you were trained uh, to take it apart in, in the dark and uh, you oh, know. Okay, yeah, yeah that that leads me to my next question. How often would you clean your rifle? Would you would it need cleaning all the time or was uh, it once in a while? Too often. There's another thing. The, when I was two, uh, uh, when we were getting into. The sergeant would come <coughs> in order to avoid to uh, to go out on a, on, a, on a Saturday. They punished you, you know. They couldn't go. So anyway, the sergeant came in, or the corporal. He said, and we were playing cards. He said, "I want you to give me your rifle." He opened it up and looked. He said, "That is dirty." I want you to clean that rifle when I come back, you know? Mm -hmm. Otherwise you ain't go nowhere. So when uh, we just to let him go, and we put the rifle where it was, mm -hmm. and played cards. And then he came back and he said, did you do what I told you? Yes. He looked at it. Now why didn't you do this in the first place? I remember that. <laughs> he didn't even touch it. Yeah. I don't know, you know, some kinds of guys. So that's where your morale was, you know? So, um, I know that the K-98 has a, a tool in the back for it, taking apart the bolt. I don't remember. Did you ever use that? No, I don't remember that. You don't remember that? No. Okay. Um, did you ever experience malfunctions with this rifle? No. No? I remember, oh, there it is for this. Yeah, this is yeah, for the okay. Ranger and Farnum. Yeah. No, I did not. I never had any trouble with it. Yeah. Nobody had. Okay. I can't think of, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I hear that the German soldiers really respected the K-98. I mean, oh, it, it yeah. Was, it, and when I use it, when I reenact, I never have, I love this thing. It never jams. It, yeah. It, it just runs. And um, I know a lot of guys with the machine guns, uh, they tend to jam. And I even got a couple kills where a GI, his Thompson, he, he had me, but his Thompson jammed and I pulled up my Mauser and got him. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, so um, plus two with a with a bolt action rifle, you you take more time. You're not going to waste ammo with a no, machine oh, gun. It's you, more spray and pray. You could you you waste so much ammo. This it's one shot, one kill. Oh yeah. You know, um, oh, more yeah. accurate. So what ranges do you think you would shoot? Do you think you could go out to a thousand meters with this or five hundred meters? No. What? I'm thinking. Yeah, meters are about a, a yard. You know. Well, I, I only recall uh, the Russian houses when we used those bullets would put the house on fire, you know, they had special Phosphorus bullets, bullets. Yeah, tracer bullets. Tracers. Uh, the house was, again, pretty far away. Yeah. You know, and we could use it. Yeah, they yeah. Had to do it, yeah. Okay. Huh. Um. Okay. Then they came out with them new gr new grenade grenades. You put them on yeah the rifle grenades. Yeah, yeah, we we use those in our reenactments. Yeah, but that came up late. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That because that's nice. You know, if you needed it. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, because if they're high hit or around yeah, the corner you somewhere, like you, this, could... you know. Okay, um, yeah. The other the, the stick grenade. So you were taught to use the stick grenade. Um, and the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. And the egg grenade. The egg. Yeah. yeah. Now, my, my understanding with the stick grenade is you would, you would take it and you could use it for... Well, they, you were taught to use the rifle first. Yeah. This was for if they were hidden in a, in a concealed area. When you attacked them. Yeah, and you throw it in there. In, in trenches. In yeah. trenches and things like that. But I, I was also told that what they would do, too, sometimes would 
throw the grenade at the enemy. The enemy would see the grenade, and then you get your rifle up and shoot them. Do you think no, you'd ever do anything like that? Never like that. No. Okay. Um, yeah, because I, I think they said the blast range is like 15 meters. Yeah. So, um, so maybe you, you could, you know, I mean, if the enemy sees it, if you see a grenade coming you in, you're going to take it, cover. You caught, I remember that, 23, 23, and 22, 23, and then let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, if you don't, they throw it back at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, also, I know, I guess you could take the, screw the heads off and then uh, tape them all, or bind them all together and throw it at, like, a tank track or never, no, you never did anything no, like that? No, no, we did Okay. Um, <coughs> but, yeah, the, yeah, the K-98. Yep. Okay. Um, so, I guess... Next, I'd like to ask about supplies. Did, did you did you always have enough supplies? Did you ever run out of uh, seem like you ever run out of ammo or food? Or well, anything? at the end, I think uh, more at the end. No, we had to still have ammunition. You but, always had ammunition, but that thing would heat up on us. Oh, the MG. Yeah, and we had nothing there to lubricate it, but we had sardine cans. Oh. We used the damn oil from oh, the, oil, <laughs> the oil from the side. Okay, got cherry red, buddy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the MG34 here. Because they, they used it, like, like, you know, the barking dog. <laughs> you know? Did, were, did you ever use the MG34? I, yeah, training. But otherwise, I was not the gunner. You were not the gunner. No, you never I was a but you've seen it in the ammunition. But I carried the tripod. Yeah. You know where it sits. Oh, you helped carry yeah, some I carry of the... that one, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I seen that. That's what they That's a do. different thing, yeah. Okay, Um. so you were part of a, a squad, so you were like the only sniper in the squad? Yeah, you were with the company, but you were separated as a machine gun unit, you know? Yeah. The okay. word maybe the, the gunner, and then the guy who carried the, you know, and then there was about six guys carrying ammunition, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Um, oh, the other question I was going to ask. The rifle. Were, were, how were you taught to kick? Were you taught a special way to carry the rifle? Oh, no. you sure do. I mean, I mean, like in your hand. I know. Oh. Were you taught? I'm told that the German soldiers you carry it like this. Always up. Carry it up For like safety this. safety reason. Always, always up. Uh, now, I know like Americans would hold their rifle like this. You don't. No, we did not. You didn't do that. You we, Did you hell? I'm told that you were right, always use your right hand carry it like this. Or, no. You, or you just you always carry it over yes, your shoulder? you're not allowed to carry it like that. Okay. It may get, go off and shoot somebody. Okay, so you could get punished for carrying it wrong? Well, that was just every, the way it was. Okay. You weren't supposed to walk to the tuna. Okay. You know, no. Okay. That's the way it was. Okay. You trained and you were stuck with it, you know? Okay. Um, let's see what's next. Um, So, what what when you're in Russia there? What what areas do you think you were were, were fighting at? Were you fighting mostly in the forest or suburban areas or uh, in the plains? In wooded areas. Yeah. You were mostly in wooded areas. Yeah. So you got to use a lot of camouflage in the wooded areas. Where I was, yeah. Okay, so, um, so where where did you sleep at night? Did you where we were? Wherever you were, you <laughs> you couldn't stay in their houses. And no, so, we're not allowed to because okay. of fleas. Okay, so the Russian houses That's had what, fleas. Well, you were not supposed to. Fleas and traps. Oh, uh, and traps. Yeah. So, oh. I was sitting in the trap, you know. Well, even in Ukraine we could have, but you're not allowed because of the fleas. Fleas and maybe lice and things like that. Yeah, oh can. yeah, lice, I mean, yeah. And again, do you know if they, if they, if you needed to decant, decant, I can't say the word, a decant, decant, to clean an area. Yeah. Would you use Zyklon B, or, or, or would you ever use any kind of disinfectant if you wanted to? I don't have any. Anything? No time. So you just basically That's st right. stayed You're in the woods? You stayed away. <laughs> okay. Um, what about... I, I've seen in some of the videos where they would make cabins. They would they would uh, cut down some trees and make it like a little cabin. Did you ever do... No get, time for no, that. No time for that. Okay, because you were always pretty much on the front lines. Yes, most more time. or less, yeah. So... So what what equipment did you carry with you? Did you carry basic equipment like um, I like carried the pouches and uh, this, bread, yeah, bread. this is a must. Okay, and, then, and but you always had that. You always carried the basic. Yes, equipment. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah. 
Now, when you got your ammo, I know this is going to be a mundane question, but when you got your ammo out of the pouches, was there a pattern? Did you start from back to front, or it didn't matter? You just take them out. You just take them out. Yeah. And I know sometimes uh, German etiquette is proper, things like when you'd eat, you would eat, you use your right hand and the fork in your left hand, and you uh, would never switch. It was proper See, etiquette. when I came into the picture, before that, they all did that. Yeah. They had time for that. Oh, proper etiquette. Yeah, like when there like was that. no war yet. Yeah. 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 So, um, what, what kind of things would you carry in your bread bread? Would you carry food, like uh, uh, flesh conserves? I never kind of recalled it. You don't? No, really nothing. You don't really nothing? You had nothing. Did you, did you carry... Uh, if you find something, you put it in there. Did you have a pair of binoculars? No. You didn't have binoculars? No. Nope. All you had was your scope it's on your right. rifle. It's right. Uh, what about chocolate? I know they, sometimes the guys got chocolate. Oh, forget it. That's luxury. That's a luxury thing. You would never get anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes us reenactors have this imaginary view of how things may have been. Well, that's why you asked me. You know, I know, because you well, know, especially. Okay. I'm glad you asked. Especially us being American, we're kind of spoiled, and we think that you're going to have everything. And, and um, sometimes well, that's that's, it's good for them to see that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you you did have supply lines. How far back was the supply lines? Did you have like a supply train? Were they like uh, 200 meters? Behind or it wasn't functioning too good, so I don't know. You don't know. No. If it was there, it was there. You could bet. The good thing was we had food, and the family had enough ammunition at that time yet. So you always had food and ammunition. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that yeah, that's good. Um, what about um, your your personal hygiene? How did you clean yourself? And you wash wherever you find water. And what about your hair? How did you get your hair cut? Did somebody? It's, I don't even recall. You, you don't remember? No. Somebody wouldn't in the unit might have had uh, yeah, scissors. Yeah, something and, like and that. And they probably shaved your head once or No, we never shaved Well, head. like shaved the size short, you know, just. They just cut it. They just cut it. I, I don't even remember. You know, I know, it's hard. It's, I know. I can't expect you to remember something 70 yeah. years ago. I mean, yeah. that's, I mean, I can't even remember what happened last year. So, um, Okay, so what about signaling? When you, when you wanted to signal or communicate with the unit, did you use, did you ever use the hand signals? Like I know they, they would use this to bring up or they... Not when I was there. Not, or no, they, it was What about the flare gun? Did you ever use the flare gun? I never gun? had one. Oh, I never had one? You no. never seen or anything like that? I'd seen them, I didn't have one. We oh. didn't have one. Okay, okay. Um, what about, I know I got this book here that um, has okay. a lot of terminology. Like, would you ever use the, these terms like uh, decon for cover, to take cover? Um, yeah, take, take it. Yeah, we use that. Uh, Anchitratin, fall in, entrate, and yeah. auf. You know, terminologies well, like the that. The corporal gives the orders, you know what the, I mean? The who? The corporal. The corporal. Yeah, he would shoot them orders, you know. You mean the gefreiter or obergefreiter? Yeah, or we, or we call each other the take, take, you Okay. Height, you know. Okay. Get down, yeah. So if somebody saw all trouble, they'd say, Deck home! Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, You're doing good. Oh, okay. You could have made a good one. Oh, uh, no, I Go ahead. <laughs> so did you, do you remember your commanding officer? Was he a, a felt fable or hunter officer or, or your squad? Well, the, the officers were all uh, educated, uh, college educated, yeah. And then, uh, then down there was the sergeant, they were on just like me and you, you know, and uh, the officers, uh, they were, I, they almost made me training for that, you know? Yeah. I remember that. And I had to hold the officer's horse and then the ranging. They wanted to train me to, to do their job. Mm -hmm. I never accumulated either. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, as far as you're in one location and you want to, you're advancing in Russia. How would you advance? Would you would you take a, get back on a train or would you take a truck or would you just march well, hundreds march, of miles? March, 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 march. No, 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 okay. Uh, w when you did engage the Russians, do you remember what their tanks and soldiers were like? The soldiers were poor. The soldiers they were had poor. They really had nothing. nothing. Like this, what we got there, yeah. their boat poison, they had just a little sack. little sack? You know, and, and, and 
what they had in there was. Uh, I think you told me tobacco and. Yeah, tobacco, what they call uh, Mahoyka. Okay. And this was uh, roughly like weed. Yeah, Russian cigarettes yeah, were really they wrote, The only way they could smoke them was with in their Pravda newspaper. In their newspaper. That's the only <laughs> way that stuff, <laughs> you know? So a lot of the Russian soldiers really had nothing. In no, they had nothing. Okay, so if you ever captured a Russian soldier, what was the protocol for that? Would We're you supposed to turn to give them back? You give them to the, the back. They took care of it. So the back behind the lines, they would just take care yeah. of. Yeah. Would so you just then, would you walk them back, or would you just put them on a truck, or? Well, more or less, somebody walked them back. Somebody walked. Yeah. Okay. But we remember they had about hundred of them. This is important, and we had our allied at that time, the Cossacks, tough bunch. They had the horses and the saddle, and we told them to, they hated the Russians. Yeah. And we told them to bring them back. That was about 100 kilometers, maybe. They had horses, they won't march. And it would take them at least a couple of days. Damn it, they were back in a, four hours. What happened? You know they practice cabbage with yeah. them? Yeah. Oh no, they killed them all. Oh no. Oh yeah, they just went with a hot practice and cut their heads off. Yeah. They were good at it because they drained on yeah. cabbage heads. Yeah. Or, or as hell. Yeah, that's... Um, so what, what about the Russian tanks? You, you told me you had an encounters with Russian tanks. Uh, not directly. But you've seen but the Russian I've tanks, seen like them going back. Uh, they were maybe over there and over there. And when I remember some turned back, they were never finished in the back. Yeah. You could see. Oh, so that they didn't. They only were, the front. Production was so fast, they yeah. would just, they wouldn't even finish the oh, yeah. building, the construction of the tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh, that's, I'm sure. But I, I was told they had a lot of tanks, like 36,000 tanks or something like yeah, that. I don't know. Yeah, they many. Some of them wouldn't run. Uh -huh. I, recall, I recall that one thing, we were trained that uh, if you're in the manhole, uh, what the tank can do to you. I think I told you that too. Uh, our sergeant, we hated him, a red hat. Yeah. He was a bastard. And, and he went in the manhole and he told the tank operator, the, the lieutenant, go. And he went over the manhole and the tank goes like this. Mm -hmm. like this. The manhole was closed with him in it. Yeah. And then he went off. And then everybody stood there. The lieutenant got mad. God damn you guys, don't you pick him? No, they wanted the wolf. Yeah. They got him out, yeah, he's almost blue. <laughs> and, yeah. they got, and he the statement he made, I know you guys hate me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story too. Yeah, I can imagine there's sometimes you had the conflict between, you know, yeah. enlisted men and officers or, oh, or, yeah. or somebody who's gonna be. And really we were hard. trained. We had those minds to put on tanks. Yeah. You know, you crawl up because the it's magnetic a, mines. A dead, they could see you, you know. Mm -hmm. you flip it on there. We were trained to do that. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's interesting. Okay, yeah. Um, so, w did you experience the Russian winter? No. No? You no. got a, you didn't get the experience? Oh, was I blessed. You were blessed? Yeah. Okay, so... so I what, got wounded. You got wounded. Yeah. So. So do you remember how you got wounded? Were you uh, from a from a shrapnel? Shrapnel. Yeah. Was it, it artillery me, or it, grenade or? It, 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 apparently it was from a artillery. Artillery. Well, they had those we call them organ Stalin organ. Yeah. Those were the one with fifty. Yeah. You know, boom, 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 boom. That's by that. They call them Katusha rockets. Yeah. Or something, I think. And I faked it. And I have to say that. And so I got back to Germany. Yeah. Yeah. And then they find out I wasn't that bad. Yeah. Because uh, it was here and they thought it was lung, you know. Yeah. Beautiful. So w w how did you get back? When you got wounded, did they take you? Did Up to Poland. You came back in a train. Yeah. A nice train. You, you took a nice train back. The, the Pullman, you know. Yeah. That was with beds in it. Oh, okay. Beautiful. And I was, uh, I was lucky. Oh, okay. Yeah. So th then they did, they performed surgery on you and... And do nothing. 
they do not. They found out they made a mistake. Oh, they found it. It's okay. God in action. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So it was in Bavaria. Okay, so you got you know, you went back to Germany, you went to Bavaria. Oh yeah. Was that there a hospital there that you were? Yeah, they had a hospital there. Yeah. And then I, I recall when the big chefs came at the general and visited the hospital and I told Mary the other day, I said, This is so ugly and I see the weather and see him. I seen ours wounded and the one there was one guy no legs no arms. You know, they hit the metal on him. Mm -hmm. And I remember he had nothing to lose. Yeah. He was calling them no good son SOBs. Yeah. What it did to me. Yeah, pretty bitter. I'm yeah. sure. I mean that happens a lot of the worst yeah. World War One Vietnam. They could do nothing to him but shoot him, that would have been a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um so so you're you're in Bavaria now. Um, so w what happens next? Did you get sent back to the front after you get better? Or? Yeah, I got back to the back to Brest with the U boat bunkers. Okay. Back. And then I remember it was close to the end. Then I remember we had to march from Brest to the Normandy. First we marched at night, 